Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going after three very rare species of waterfowl, the taiga bean geese, which is very hard to identify and nowadays very rare in the Netherlands. We're going after two Ross's geese and a green winged teal. We start off this adventure in the Groningen fields near Stadskanaal, where Rick Lever refound a taiga bean geese he found earlier in January. Then the bird wasn't twitchable, so let's hope this time is different. When I arrived, the group of tundra bean geese, where the tiger bean geese should be in, was sitting all the way at the end of this field. But it didn't take long for me to find the bird after some directions from Willem Hartholt, who was already at the site. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the identification of tiger bean geese, it's the bird with the large orange bill walking to the right. Because the bean geese sat so far away in the field, it was hard to pick out the right bird with my viewfinder. So I used my scope to pick out the right bird and then point my camera in that direction. Here we can see the long neck of the tiger bean geese and also the long completely orange bill without the grinning patch. Here are some more shots of the bird. And note the large orange bill that transitions smoothly into the head. Here the bird had flown and in the hopes of getting better shots I tried to refine the bird in the field. When I refound the bird it stood next to the Stundra bean geese and note the difference in size and also the difference in neck length. Today it finally happened. The Ross's goose that was ringed in Canada and was wintering in Belgium has now arrived in the Netherlands. So Olivia, Willem and I are on our way to hopefully see it. As we had expected and hoped for, the Ross's goose was refound in the province of Friesland, near Lemmer to be precise which is only an hour drive from home. Now let's hope we get there in time. We just got a message that the group of geese, including the bosses, has flown off to the north. So let's hope they'll be refound. We just saw a group of geese flying uh, high over the car. So we checked them, but no white geese uh, amongst them. So uh, that calmed our nerves. And then we got a message from Peter Dorn that the bird is in view again. So uh, we have to drive another 10 minutes. Let's hope we'll see them. We are now standing at a red light at Lemmer. Seven more minutes to go. And this bird is such a big deal because it is ringed. So it is even more rare than uh, a species that will be new for the Netherlands. Because not all Russell's geese are ringed. So if you see a ringed one, it's so rare and we really want to see it. Let's go, last couple of minutes. We did just see the two Russes geese, but they are very far away, so I'm not sure if they are visible on the footage I got. Now, my daughter has woken up, as always when I uh, stop the car, so she is uh, listening uh, to a movie on the phone. So, let's hope we get some better views of the Russes geese. The group of geese was very skittish, probably because they had just arrived and were searching for a quiet place to forage. Also, the group of geese were very far away and there were many gulls amongst them, which are also white, so it wasn't easy to pick out the two Russes geese at first. After some time, the heat haze finally got a bit less so I could get some better shots of the Ross's geese.
Here we look at Greenland with the North Pole to the north, America to the left and Europe to the right. If we then move over to North America, you see the breeding range of the Russell skis in red. In blue are the wintering grounds that reach all the way into Mexico. Now if we move back over to Greenland again, we see the breeding range of the pink-footed geese, the species the Rosses geese was first associated with when found in Norway where the majority of pink-footed geese migrate through towards their wintering grounds in Belgium. During its migration, the birds were picked up in Denmark and the Netherlands before they were found at the wintering grounds of the pink-footed geese in Belgium. During its stay there, they traded the pink-footed geese for white-fronted geese and barnacle geese as the accompanied species with which the birds migrated north to the Netherlands. When we drove around to another spot, we could see the Ross's geese a bit closer to the road, but sadly they were just sitting on the ground. So, it's a few days later, I'm back at Lemmer to hopefully get some better shots of the Ross's geese. Because the last time we were here, shots weren't great because the birds were very far away and I didn't have the time uh, to wait until they get closer. Today I have my son with me and I also have my laptop from work with me because I have to do some work in the car. But uh, I have some time to hopefully see the birds closer than I had before. Let's go. On this map, you can follow the orange line which shows you where I searched for the geese. Well, I did a first scan around the entire area. Checked all the groups of geese I came across, but didn't see the Ross's geese. So it's time for me to go to work now, and then uh, give my son a clean diaper and a bottle. And then uh, let's see what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll uh, stick around in this area to search the uh, groups of geese once more. Or maybe I'll head to the Wolkenwaard or the Lausmeer to try it there. We'll see. I just found three white nice birds. No Ross's geese, but cattle egret. Always a nice surprise to see uh, when you're in the field. But since the cattle egrets are no longer classified as rare on Warnham Dunnell, I don't check where they are seen. So probably they are here for weeks or maybe months. But for me, it was a nice surprise. I've just found another white bird. This is the uh, Russell's goose. It's also no cattle egret, no ivory gull, not even an Iceland gull. It's a feral pigeon. Something you don't expect here. As there were also groups of geese. Resting on the water, I checked every bird that I could see, but sadly, didn't see the Ross's geese.
just found a huge group of geese just outside the spots the Rosses geese were seen these last days. But just when I was about to start scanning the group, a fighter jet came over and everything flew up. So now I can start all over again. Yes, I refound the Ross's geese. They weren't seen since early morning yesterday, so I'm very happy they are still here in the area. But sadly, they are still very far away in the field, so I can't get the shots I am hoping for. I did come across a couple of other birders earlier this morning who were also searching for it. So I wonder if they will come to me because I paged the bird. Let's see. So, now is a good time to give my little son a bottle. The last bird I went for in this video was the green winged teal, which was found in a wetland area close to the Zuidlaarder Meer. Now at the Zuidlaarder Meer to look for the green winged teal. I only have about half an hour, so let's hope I find it within that time span. Because the light was very nice, I decided to film some common species. Here we see a tufted duck in the front, with behind it a male Eurasian teal. In the back we see two gadwall, a pair. Close to the road sat this meadow pipit. And I also found this common snipe. Lastly, I filmed this beautiful northern lapwing. Well, I'm back home again. Failed to see the green winged teal, but two out of three. It's a pretty good score. If you like the video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And on the screen, I have two of my previous videos, which you can also watch if you haven't already. And also in the description, I have a complete list of the best videos I've made in the past. Enjoy, and until next time.